Welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. So once we figure out the ladder that we need, the very next thing that we have to do is check out the ladder. So I'm gonna need to check the rungs to make sure that there's, they haven't been compromised in any way. I wanna look for uh, any of the screws um, that, that are out or missing and make sure all the joints are nice and tight. Um, I'm gonna check the feet, the rubber on the, on, the, on the footing, on the bottom to make sure that those aren't compromised in any way and everything is nice and level. We don't wanna sit our, letto, our ladder on anything unlevel. Um, that could cause swaying and an unsafe ladder for us to climb. Also, on the side of the ladder, um, there are some weight restrictions. This, this ladder has a load capacity of 300 pounds. And so me being a big guy, I'm always <laughs> making sure that it's gonna hold me. Or maybe if I, I can't get another ladder, maybe I just need to lose some weight. One or the other, your ladder's gonna have to have some type of weight, gonna have some type of weight limitations. And we need to know that. How about this? What if we're climbing the ladder and we've got tools or something like that that's gonna take us over that capacity? So that's something else that we need to, to be aware of. Typically, in those situations, our tools would be hoisted up for us so that we don't exceed what the weight limit or the weight load capacity for that particular ladder is. Another thing that we wanna do when we're checking, especially an extension ladder, is we wanna make sure that our rope to pull um, our extension up isn't frayed or weathered um, or tearing apart on us because that rope is gonna play a very important part. Once we get um, to the top there, we're gonna need to tie our ladder off and secure it to whatever structure it is that we're climbing um, to kind of help add some extra stability to it so that there's no issues there. So make sure you check your rope and you tie your extension ladders off as well. Hey, we absolutely love our HVAC community. We want you to continue to tune in. We want you to continue to, to leave us your, your comments. Uh, make sure you click below to subscribe. We definitely wanna hear from you and we'll see you next time.